What golden nugget of information do you have to share? Even if you aren't willing to give mouth to mouth on an unconscious person, chest compressions alone greatly increase their odds of survival. A scorpion can hold its breath for six days, so don't think drowning it will help you out of your scorpion problem. So I flooded my house for no reason? Fuck. Just keep flooding it continuously for a week. Dot and on the seventh day, God finally managed to drown that fucking scorpion. If bees were paid the minimum wage, a jar of honey would cost about $200,000. Edit. Well, my first gold, first awards. Actually, thank you kind Redditor. I love this one for some reason. Jeff Bezos doesn't. Semen washes off best with cool water. Using hot water can cause the proteins to denature and makes it stickier. By the way, this also applies to period blood, murder blood, urine, and most alcoholic drinks. Hot water will make it harder to remove. Edit. Presumably this does work for other kinds of blood. Though I haven't tested. Edit 2, yup. It works on the other types of blood too. What about non-period, non-murder blood? For a garment to be labeled made in USA, the process only needs to be started and finished in America. In the case of a certain lady's underwear line, the material is cut in USA, shipped overseas for assembly, then shipped back to America where a seamstress sews made in USA. Tag on the IT Monsieur. Source Underwear Factory Worker. It's crazy how it's cheaper to send clothing across the world to be assembled than it is to just do it domestically. A moose can run 40 miles per hour through six foot deep snow. Terrifying. When choking on food and can't get help, you can get into a push-up position and then just drop down. The ground hitting your stomach and chest will cause what you're choking on to dislodge. Edit. Someone has commented to explain that this was created by a fireman not something that firemen necessarily do. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Edit. You can also dislodge by jabbing the back end of a chair into your stomach. Please look in the comments for more info. The first president of Zimbabwe was President Banana. Did his voters find him appealing? Holy shit. This blew up. Thanks for all the upvotes and awards everybody. I'll just take my karma and split if that's alright. They said he was the best of the bunch. Asterisk speaking of golden nuggets of information to share. Asterisk, goldfish lose their color if they are kept in dim light or are placed in a body of running water. Such as a stray monsieur. I must be hungry because when I saw goldfish I assumed the crackers. I had a heart transplant five years ago. When your heart is replaced. The surgeon has to cut the main nerve that gets the signal from the brain to beat and or increase the intensity of the beat. Without this, vagus, nerve, your new heart has no regulation and pumps blood out of habit. You no longer have a fight or flight response and your new heart beats at 90 plus beats a minute. That is terrifying. So if you get nervous your heart doesn't race. Right. I have no internal regulation over my heart rate. My new heart beats purely from muscle memory. I can't think about it for too long because it's just too freaky. There are about 60,000 characters in the Mandarin language. A very literate person will know 20,000. The average person from 5,000 to 10,000. If an educated, around 3,000. I don't know any so I guess I'm fucking stupid. I met a German girl who had studied Mandarin in university. She said she knew about 6,000 characters which was about enough for her to read the newspaper. Which one? The German paper. The main reason we stop doing something we love is because we forget our love of doing it for enjoyment sake and replace it with the desire to be good at it. You've inspired me. I should go tune up my guitar and get back to playing. I enjoyed it. I was decent. And I should enjoy being decent at it rather than good or great. Gary Newman is 13 days older than Gary Oldman. Each one of the Yamato-class battleships' main gun turrets weighed over 3,000 tons. Heavier than the average U.S. destroyer. If you were on a destroyer in the U.S. Navy during World War II, 
you ran the risk of having to fight a ship whose primary weapons alone displaced more weight than your entire vessel. And the reason for this is that the Japanese Navy had heavy restrictions from the West on how big Air Navy could be before the start of WW2. So to compensate for this they built the biggest battleships the world had ever seen. Yep, Washington Naval Treaty. And they were absolutely useless once aircraft carriers became the most effective and valued ships in a fleet. Not to mention they couldn't recoup their losses anywhere near as fast as the US could so every loss really hurt them and they didn't have the resources to actually get the most out of the masseur granted Japan's carrier force was formidable up until midway happened. But Japan essentially made a perfect sword while everyone else was making guns with the Yamato. Horses have a massive blind spot on the front and back of their body. If you are ever around a tame horse, keep a hand on their body while walking around them. This lets it know where you are at all times and decreases chances of kicking out of shock or fear. This also prevents them from kicking you with as much force. You need to stay very close to them for the full benefit. This is similar with goats, as they instinctively fight things coming head on and should be approached from the sides. Also, ears are the gateway to a horse's feelings. Pinned back ears indicates an anxious or angered horse. Pinned straight up indicates curiosity and focus. Artillery was responsible for over 70% of combat casualties in both world wars. The Earth wobbles really slowly like a spinning top. It takes about 26,000 years to come full circle. In the process, the northern star changes. This is called precession. If you see a job you really want but aren't quite qualified for apply anyway, don't tell yourself no, make them tell you no. You might be pleasantly surprised. Both my son and daughter followed this advice and got a job that turned into a career as a manager who hires people. Yes, apply for everything you're reasonably competent for, even if you can't check all the boxes. Most of what I look for is experience and practical application of knowledge, skills, and tools. Even so, I am aware that many aspects can be taught easily and quickly. We're also looking for general intelligence and character, good mindset and work ethic. I manage the engineering department at my company. Even people applying for design, manufacturing, QC, or whatever we happen to be looking for generally are not applying with a specific degree. There's a ton of overlap. Heck, what I even went to school for, I barely used, not have really been hired on specially for. All colors of Fruit Loops have the same flavor. Also true for Play-Doh. Airline Op Sky here. If you check in a bag at an airport with an hour or less before departure, it has a 50-50 shot of making it on the plane. Just like the TSA line, bags security can back up too. I regularly see 30 plus minute in screening statuses on bags. Then, it may be pulled for a hand screening in search. This is random and TSA doesn't care when the flight leaves. So now we're at about 25 minutes to departure and your bag has only just now entered the sort. System is sure it will take another 5 to 10 minutes to sort out to the person who loads carts with bags. Here, the problem is that there may be 7 to 10 other flights coming off of the same conveyor belt. They have to see your bags tag out of maybe 50 other bags. So let's assume another 5 minutes. Your flight's bag cart was delivered plainside at an hour before departure. It is now 15 minutes to departure. The bag room has seen your bag and has it on the back of a tug racing to the plane. Seven minutes before departure the baggage compartments are closed and total weights are being submitted. Your bag has missed the airplane. TL. Doctor please check in more than an hour before your flight if checking a bag or else it might not make it on the plane. So I should check in late. So my bag might be delayed and I can claim on my insurance $200 for new clothes? Actually, yes. I checked in late for a flight last year and my bag didn't make the plane. I had to buy new clothes and was reimbursed by the airline. 
got a cute new swimsuit. I don't recommend this though. It took days for my bag to find its way to me. And made the start of a vacation quite stressful. If you ever have a baseball bat and need to use it as a weapon, put a sock over it so if someone tries to disarm you they just slide off the sock. Time out, time out, time out. I need to run home to get a sock first apparently. Please wait here. I'll be right back. Teenagers' rib cages aren't fully formed. If you get a stabbing pain in your lower side, it means the unformed cartilage moved and hit a nerve. If this happens to you, try not to breathe heavily as it irritates it more. I still get these and I'm 24. If you carry a baseball bat in your vehicle for self-defense, also carry a baseball glove. Even if you don't play baseball, your lawyer will appreciate it. Tell put a sock on my baseball bat and carry a baseball glove as well. Please note this does not work if you carry a Glock 19 for self-defense. The gray rock treatment is an incredibly useful method of dealing with narcissists and toxic people. If such a person is going at you verbally or behaviorally, screaming or posturing or trying to fight, become like a gray rock in a river. No reaction. Don't answer. No movement. Just sit calmly and let the stream of crazy flow past you. Bonus points if you can stare blankly. When people thrive on causing a reaction, they absolutely cannot compute when they get no reaction. If you're in physical danger obviously react to keep yourself safe, but don't argue. Explain or defend verbally. You'll never change a narcissist's mind. It's just walking on a treadmill. Obviously not foolproof. Keep yourself safe first and foremost. Edit. OMG. Thanks for the awards. I'm very humbled. I accidentally discovered this a couple of days ago. I work in healthcare. And for the past several weeks we've had an increasing number of people frustrated with the pandemic. Complaining about wearing a mask. Being allowed to go some places but not others. Etc. I had tried to explain flattening the curve keeping numbers in the ICU manageable. Using logic and science to explain the why behind the stay at home orders. I convinced exactly zero people and only aggravated myself. Yesterday I was just tired. So when patients came in complaining about the situation I just didn't say anything and let them vent their spleen. Eventually they stopped talking and changed the subject on their own. Edit. Thanks for the award, but I'm no hero. And to be clear, I was only referring to the complainers. I do get a decent number of people who genuinely want to know what's going on and why. And I always take the time to explain it to them as best I can. On the timeline of human history, the ancient Egyptians lived as close to the ancient Romans as the ancient Romans lived to us today. The reason that they did not teach about the Aztec Empire for Oxford's first few hundred years was twofold. The Americas had not been discovered and the Aztec Empire had not been founded. That's the exact same reason the local junior college doesn't have the Mars colony in their curriculum yet. The tensing of leg muscles will deflate an unwanted erection. I almost saved this comment for future reference but then remembered I'm not a dude. That has been a lifesaver on multiple occasions. People often underestimate how big a billion actually is. An easy way to conceptualize it is to think of it in terms of seconds. One million seconds ago was 12 days ago. One billion seconds ago was 1987. What's the difference between one million and one billion? About a billion. Engineers be like, ah yes I love this, if I spent a dollar every second I would be spending $3,600 an hour. It would take me 32 years to spend a billion dollars at this rate. A single spaghetti noodle is called a spaghetto. I thought a spaghetto was a place where poor Italians lived. The Alta Bridge Crossing is a bridge that connects Staten Island, NY to Perth Amboy, NJ. You probably think it was named that because it's the outermost bridge in New York City. Wrong. It's named after Eugenius Harvey Outta Bridge. Wait, is Eugenius a real name? That's amazing. I'm calling my kid that now so whenever he does something stupid I can go, gee. Nice one Eugenius.
In the 90s there was a Scottish indie band named Captain America, which was renamed Eugenius following a cease and desist letter from Marvel Comics. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.